Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so I'm seeing a lot of varied opinions as to what was said and what happened between Billy Joe Saunders, Mark Tibbs and of course Ben Davison as to why Billy Joe Saunders didn't come out for round number nine against Sal Canelo Alvarez. And of course some of the opinions were, are just very straight black and white which is well Billy Joe Saunders quit. It's karma for what he said about Darren Dubois and whatever else. Other YouTubers seem to have missed a bit of the trick here as well when for me if you just put the the three jigsaw pieces together, it's obvious what was said. Neither of them need to say exactly what, what was said. I think it's pretty obvious. All you've got to do is look at the statement from Billy Joe Saunders. Look at the comments from Mark Tibbs immediately after the fight and, of course, yesterday on Twitter with his video. And look at the interview, of course, with Ben Davidson. Put them all together. The jigsaw pieces fit together quite obvious, really, don't they? But I'm a little bit offended in some ways. I, I know I shouldn't be because... When it comes to people actually involved in boxing, there's a lot of snakes in boxing. And while I'm not involved in boxing in, in any kind of official capacity, I do see a lot of underhandedness in boxing. I've been on the receiving end of it on, on a couple of occasions, believe it or not. But Mark Tibbs is one of the very few people that I would go to bat for. Where I would actually back him to the hills and back. I have a lot of time and a lot of love for Mark Tibbs. And quite a few other people as well. Dylan White, of course, and Stephen Robinson, and quite a few other people. And I believe that they all know that. I'm pretty sure that they do. And Mark Tibbs is one of these people that I know Mark Tibbs well enough. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we haven't been around to each other's house and had Sunday um, lunch and that together. And I'm pretty sure if I was to go down south and I, and I called up Mark Tibbs and said, can I come into your gym and uh, see you or anything? He'd welcome me with open arms. He'd make me a coffee or whatever it may be. So with Mark Tibbs, when I'm seeing things where people are saying how Mark Tibbs, he pulled the fight on the orders of Ben Davison. That bothers me. Where a decision was taken out of his hand and Mark Tibbs was being the yes man and called the, called the fight when he didn't really want to. Where Mark Tibbs, he didn't recognise himself that Billy Joe Saunders was in no fit state to continue. That bothers me. It does bother me. And I, and I know it's going to be like a green flag for um, a lot of people to try and troll me as they do with Dillian White and Stephen Robinson and Joe Laws and many, many other people um, I'm involved in boxing just trying to get a rise out of me. But Mark Tibbs will never be the yes man for anybody. Mark Tibbs is experienced himself, being a former fighter himself, being a trainer for quite some time as well. Of course, being the son of legendary um, trainer and of course, former fighter in Jimmy Tibbs. Mark is a world-class trainer. Mark Tibbs is not the yes man for anybody. And when Mark Tibbs tells you he made the decision to pull that fight, believe it, Mark Tibbs made that decision. It wasn't Ben Davidson. Ben Davidson could say whatever he wants. BJ Saunders can say whatever. But Mark Tibbs made the decision to pull the fight. Now, I haven't spoke to Mark Tibbs about it all or anything, so I don't have any kind of inside information. But if you look at the statement from BJ Saunders, Look at the comments from Mark Tibbs. Look at the interview from Ben Davidson. Put them together. The jigsaw pieces are pretty obvious as to what's happened. In round number eight, Sal Canelo Alvarez hit BJ Saunders with that uppercut. And you could see immediately that something went wrong with the side of the face of Billy Joe Saunders. You could see it immediately. We could see it on TV. Imagine being there in the flesh. As Billy Joe Saunders was walking back to the corner, you could see Mark Tibbs. He's saying something to Billy Joe. Billy Joe, he sits down. Mark continues to say whatever it is that he's saying to Billy Joe. Ben Davidson gets in the ear and he's speaking to Billy Joe Saunders. Mark Tibbs then says whatever it is he's saying to Billy Joe Saunders. Mark Tibbs calls the fight. Now, if you put them all together, because Billy Joe Saunders, he says that uh, Ben Davidson was saying how the fight should be pulled. Ben Davidson was saying that he pretty much made the decision to pull the fight. Mark Tibbs is saying that he alone made the decision. Now, when you look at it, Mark Tibbs is experienced enough to know that when Billy Joe Saunders, when he sat down, Mark Tibbs would have already had it in, in his mind that the fight's over. But he wants to give Billy Joe Saunders every opportunity to convince him that this fight's not over. How bad is that injury? Because Mark, he's not a doctor, is he? I mean, he could feel the indentation of the cheek and everything. And while he'd be pretty convinced that the fight is over now and he's already getting ready to throw in the towel on the fight. 
he needs to give Billy Joe Saunders every opportunity that he possibly can. For Billy Joe to say, it's actually not that bad. It probably looks worse than what it really is. I feel okay. Now, with Ben Davidson speaking to Billy Joe, firstly, you have to say, should Ben Davidson have really been there as he wasn't officially part of the team? He wasn't part of the corner team. So in, in theory, Ben Davidson shouldn't even have been allowed to speak to Billy Joe Saunders. But Mark, he allowed Ben Davidson to speak with Billy Joe. And I think it's pretty obvious what's happened there. Ben Davidson was saying to Billy Joe, listen, mate, you can't continue with this. You can't go out for the next round. That injury is horrific. Worse to that kind of effect. Billy Joe would have probably already had it in his mind due to the pain and the fact that he felt something was wrong that, yeah, I can't continue like this. But I can't come out and say, you know what, I quit. He can't say those words. So when Mark Tibbs is going to him right before he pulls a fight, how are you feeling? We're going to stop the fight. Billy Joe didn't protest about it. So basically, Ben Davidson, he planted a seed on top of Billy Joe to say, don't go out, for sure. I think that's pretty much what's happened because Billy Joe probably already had it in his mind that he wasn't going to continue and he couldn't continue and he shouldn't continue. Mark was obviously looking at it thinking, I need to pull this fight. But because he wasn't getting back anything from Billy Joe Saunders, anything positive, it was like, right, okay, my initial thoughts are absolutely correct. Let's pull the fight. Mark Tibbs made the decision. Ben Davidson, he can advise Billy Joe to not continue. He can advise Mark Tibbs to say, don't let the fight continue. But Ben Davidson can't make that call, not officially, because he wasn't part of the team. It's down to Billy Joe and Mark Tibbs. Firstly, of course, it is down to the fighter, but sometimes the fighter does need saving from himself. In this particular instance, I don't think Mark Tibbs was saving Billy Joe from himself because Mark, Mark Tibbs could probably see that Billy Joe Saunders knew that it was over. And you could see that uh, Billy Joe Saunders was absolutely devastated after the fight. You could see him sobbing on his stool. That's how much it hurt him. People can call it karma. You can call it whatever you like, but it was the right thing to do. Ultimately, Mark Tibbs did make the decision. Mark Tibbs did make the right decision. So for me, it was pretty obvious what's happened. Billy Joe Saunders would have already been thinking the fight's over. Mark Tibbs was already thinking that the fight is over. Ben Davidson speaking to Billy Joe Saunders in his ear by saying, the fight's over, mate, you can't go out like this. It's just adding the cherry to it is what's happening. And with what's coming out of Billy Joe Saunders to Mark Tibbs, Mark Tibbs, that was just confirmation to him, this fight's over, which is why he pulled the fight. It's pretty obvious what's happened, isn't it? Mark Tibbs did, didn't do it on the orders of Ben Davidson, not at all. Mark Tibbs is a very, very experienced guy. He's a world-class trainer. He made the right decision. And yes, he made the decision. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.